Okay, this is your first literacy lesson for week five. So we're going to just have a look at some spelling before we get into our video for literacy. So I want you to look at the words on the screen and think about the root word that they all contain. So let's have a look at reading them first. We've got helpful, helped, helpless, helping, helps, helper. Okay, think about the root word. So if we have a look, the root word, we have got help. And remember then, some endings we can see are then suffixes because they become at the end. So we've got full or for example, we've got less. OK, and we're going to be having a look at some of these. Now, we call this a word family. We have looked at this in class before. So it's when we look, take a root word and lots of other words can be created which belong to the same word family. So if we have a look here, we've got the help family. And if we look at this word, we've got a prefix because it comes before the root word and a suffix. Okay, let's just have a look at what this word means. Let me type it out here so you can see it. Unhelpful. So we know the root word is help. So to help someone is to be useful. If you want help of someone, you want them to help you do something, you want them to be useful. The suffix full is to do it well. So if somebody is, if you ask somebody for help and they are helpful, it means they have fulfilled that role. They have done what you wanted them to do and they have been successful. But un means opposite doesn't it so if somebody is unhelpful you've wanted them to help you've wanted them to be helpful but they've been the opposite they've been unhelpful okay so there we have the help family and we need to think about how the suffix added to the root word can change the meaning so if we have a look at this one so we've got helpful we've just discussed what that means and helpless Okay, so helpless is not the opposite of helpful. The opposite of helpful is unhelpful, so they've not been useful. Helpless is when somebody cannot be helped. Okay, so thinking about how the suffix added to the root word changes the meaning of the word. We've got the write family, so we've got rewrite, writing, writer written, underwrite and write. If we look at this one, rewrite, we know that the prefix re means to do it again. So if you rewrite something, you do it again, don't you? So let's have a look which suffixes can be used with the root word because we can't add them all. Now, we're going to think about the ones which make sense, first of all, and then we're going to see if we need to change the spellings. So would we say delightful or delight -er? Write down what you think. Delightful or delight -er? Okay, you should have delightful. Delight -er does not make sense, does it? Then would we have supplyful or supplier? Okay, supplier. So if somebody is a supplier, they are supplying you with something. Okay, now do we think this spelling is correct? What do we think we might need to do? Quite often, I'll give you a clue. So we usually, if a, if a root word ends in a Y, we usually remove the Y and add an I. So my spelling will change to supplier. We know this one is incorrect. Okay. So if somebody supplies you with something, if you go to the supermarket to buy your food shopping, they are a supplier. They are supplying you. They are giving you food. Right. Duty. So the word duty means to be doing a job. So if I give you a duty, if you are a playground duty, or you are a, think of when we have monitors in class, 
it's similar a duty if you've been given a job so dutiful or dutier which one sounds right dutiful and remember again quite often if the word the root word ends in y we remove the y and add an i so dutiful just means when somebody's been asked to do a job and they've done it well they have fulfilled their job happy full or happier yeah we know it's happier again the y something's going to change the y we're going to remove the y and add an i happier okay so i want you to have a look at this now so you have got two root words manage and cheer and i want you to see if you can create three new words for each root word so pause the video now and have a look Okay, so there are lots of different ones you could have had there. You could have had management or manager, cheering, cheerful, cheery. Okay, so Philippa and Joel are talking about the word hope. And Philippa says you can add the suffixes meant and ly to this word. Joel says, you can add the suffixes less and full to the root word. Who is correct? Explain your answer. So let's have a look. So the word is hope. So Philippa is saying you can have hopement and hopely. Joel is saying you can have hopeless and hopeful. Which words sound and look correct? Would we say hopement or hopely? No, so you should have said Joel. Right, your task now in your work pack is to have a look at this. So, Ash is tidying up backstage with his friends Janelle and Hassan. They have found a number of cue cards with different words on them that seem to be connected to each other in some way. Can you help the friends sort the words into family groups, shading each word in a different colour to show the family they belong to? So, for example, you would get a colour, I'm going to do it like this, and you might say, right, frightening is in the same family as frightened and frightful and fright. You are identifying the other word families, okay? So you can complete that activity in your book now, and once you are ready, continue the video for your literacy lesson. Okay, so today we are going to be having a look at a new video which we're going to be using throughout the week. Now the video is called Little Freak and I want you to look closely at the picture. Think about the, the character. Do you think this is Little Freak? How do you think he's feeling? He's got a tear coming down his cheek so that should give you a clue. You should be able to infer. So I want you to pause the video now and just write a short prediction. What do you think the video is going to be about? Okay, so what I would like you to do now is play the video. So the video is on your workbook. Okay, if you can't find it, you need to go into Literacy Shed and type in Little Freak. And I want you to watch the video and then come back to this one. Okay, you should have watched the video now. So what was happening in the video? What was Little Freak being advertised for? Because at the beginning we saw an advertisement, okay, a poster. And what was Little Freak being advertised for? Okay, you should be able to tell me that he was being advertised to go to the circus. So, his job, we know, we've worked out from the discussion with his dad, is to go to the circus because he looks different and people want to go and look at him. So people are referring to him as a freak. People want to go and look, they're paying money to go and look at him. Okay. But does he want people to look at him? How is he feeling in the video? And then I want you to think about the video and think about how the person who has created the video is trying to set the mood. So the caravan that they live in, it doesn't look very clean. It doesn't look very warm. The weather is dull. All the video is in black and white. It's very dark. How does that make the observer feel, the person who is watching it, how does it make them feel? 
And do you think Little Freak and his dad had much money? Okay, just something to think about. So, a young deformed boy lives as a sideshow freak. When his father asks him to make a birthday wish, he starts to imagine. Okay, so deformed is just when you are, well, it's the opposite of formed, isn't it? So his, if we look at his face and look at how he looks slightly different, okay, his face is deformed, it's not formed correctly. And sadly, people are paying money to go and look at him and they're laughing at him. Think about how he feels as a child. And actually, he's just unique. He just looks different and that's something that we celebrate. But I want you to think now about what you think Little Freak wishes for. What do you think he's going to wish for when he blows out his candle? Which brings us on to your task. So you are going to write from the perspective of Little Freak to explain what he wishes for. So you are talking in first person, so you are going to empathise with your character now. You're going to think about putting yourself in Little Freak's shoes and writing as if you are him. So you need to be using the pronoun I. So I have started saying I wish again this year like I do every year just to look normal. I am fed up of people staring at me and laughing at me. I wish I was like everybody else. Okay, and obviously you are going to continue that and tell me what you think it is that he wished for.